Hello and welcome to another update video about BNB. So BNB, we can also continue to um, follow the idea that a low could have occurred here. Um, basically the finish or the completion of the correction at around $183. This is in no way confirmed yet. So we are very, very early and all we're doing is currently exploring the idea and taking a look at how likely it is. And I must be honest, I currently like what I see here on the chart um, with the first impulse to the upside made you aware in the last video that wave five would have to count as a truncated wave though but um the reason i like this whole thing is because in this move up yeah we have come down or in this move down i mean yeah we have come down in a classical three wave move perfect um based on the elliott wave method rules yeah so five wave move five waves up three waves down in what you could consider then a wave two Um, in an ABC, yeah, and we have come down perfectly to the 61.8% FIP level and seen a bounce. So this is at least something we need to be on high alert about because you make your wave one to the upside, your first impulse, you come down in a three wave move, you bounce off the 61.8% FIP level and that is interesting. And now we've moved up one step on the FIP ladder, as you can see, we're now holding on the 50% FIP retracement for now. So we could have a similar situation to what we see on the Bitcoin chart where we came down, obviously moved up quite strongly. And however, now something needs to happen. So for me, it's a bit like we should not see price action below that wave too low. That would of course um, invalidate here the idea of a first impulse up and another correction down because the next move would be obviously a wave three to the upside that would follow. That would need to be a fairly strong move and it would really need to start now. You know, we don't want to wait much longer. It would need to start now. Uh, the longer we wait, the less likely it gets. And uh, evidence for that would now be next an impulsive move to the upside here above the swing high of twenty two hundred twenty six dollars uh, very relevant level or 227. So what could happen is a five wave move would occur above that level. A breakout above that level would be a good indication. Um, target, yeah, move above that level. Then next wave target would be $242. So this is sort of next resistance. So basically also another trade setup here possible. Um, you're basically entering the next range if you break above that level. And a move above that level would just make it much more likely that wave two is complete and that we are already entering wave three. Target for wave three, we can calculate as well. I think I've set it too low, needs to be higher. That would be the bullish count by the way. And again, no guarantee this is going to play out because we're still very early in a possible uptrend, in a possible uptrend. Um, here, that would take us to $300. But again, similar situation to many other cryptos. We've got here the yellow line, which is the 50 day moving average in the way and this has ruined the party for many other cryptos already. So we just need to be aware about that as well. Uh, but the move from 226 to 242 is definitely a possible one without the 50 day moving average in the way. Um, a move below the 61.8% FIP level here, which would mean we go below $206 would. Uh, so first of all, we've got this swing low here at 213. Yeah. A move below that would probably take us down to 206. And if we go below this level, yeah, then it just indicates wave two probably hasn't finished yet. We could then still count it in a bullish way. But then we look at the next larger FIP retracement to be reached, which is the 78.6% FIP level, which is $196. So this is the next level then, 196 so that should give you all the key levels that you need um, to determine what is happening here at the moment. So in the short time frame, a move above that $227 level, 226, 227 would probably take us to 242. Yeah, a breakout. I would always wait for a retest in the current market environment. Um, a move below 216 takes us first to 213. And then if this level is lost as well to 196. All of that though, still um both scenarios here currently can be interpreted bullish yeah medium term bullish because the move down here to the next fib level would still imply that we could be here in a wave um two so basically 
that we've seen here in A, B, C. Um, a move below that one though, below 196, then it will get less likely that it's still a wave two. Yeah, so below that level, I'm, I, I would rather focus more again on the downside, indicating that we could indeed le lose here this level at $182. Yeah, and that's my view about BNB. Hopefully that was useful. If you liked it, then please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then um, yeah, um, maybe check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.